How everybody doing? Welcome back to the channel. So today I wanted to give y'all about three quick tips. I'm gonna be making a couple of these things. Uh, you can see the setup here. I have the Vive Mars. These is gonna be, basically you can see how that's moving when I'm putting my jib up and down. And I'm gonna be talking about the Vive Mars and giving y'all a few tips. Uh, and these tips is basically coming from, um, basically the, some of some of the subscribers that I get our questions and comments. So first one that I wanted to talk about is I get um, a question when people are using the Vive Mars and they're basically saying, hey, I'm in my Vive Mars here. I have it connected. So you can see at add source message bus, we are in it. I just showed y'all me using it. I have the Cine camera actor here. If I try to move forward, it pops. It keeps going back to this um basically back in place and the answer to that is this actor right because when they're telling me there if you look over here you got all of this location and it's just kind of movement see how that's just going it's just going crazy you can't adjust that reasons why it's connected to the vive mars and that's the vive mars information so if i move the camera my external camera not my virtual camera it's going to move that um virtual camera so it's connected meaning that you can't change that inside of unreal engine unless you added an actor so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you all that real quick this is not any kind of groundbreaking information but what it does is it just if some people that i've been asking they need to know and i'm here to help right so if we go to basics right we open this tab we go into basics and we go to actor actor two so actor two came up right they go actor two right there. Let me move this thing a little bit forward, right? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change my perspective. Let's go to camera 12. So I got camera two. I got actor two right here. I'm just gonna move that closer to this camera. Let's say for instance, this camera, camera actor that I have here, if I had that connected up to the Vive Mars, that means that it would be stuck in place because the only way you can move it will be through your actual external or live camera. But the reasons why you want to move this camera because it's not in the lo right location of the scene that you're doing, right? So you want it to have, instead of it being right here facing this way, you want it, like you can see this in this little viewport, you want it actually turned the opposite away. But you can't do that because you don't want to rotate your actual live action camera. That's what you're going to do is that's what this actor's for. What you're going to do is you're going to grab, like for instance, this is a test camera I'm showing y'all, Cine camera actor. I'm going to grab that and take it up to, um, I'm basically gonna drag it on top of actor two. And what it's gonna do is pretty much is gonna kind of pair them or sync them or, you know what I mean, parent them. If I do that, now and I have actor two is the main, um, our main parent, you can say, and this will be our child. You can see how I got that, I can open them and close them. So I have the cine camera actor there. Now, what happens is, let's say for instance, if you wanted to rotate this camera, what you'll be doing is you'll click on your actor two. Um, you can go through hit, you know what I mean? E if you want to for rotation and now you can rotate the camera. Same time is not going to affect when it comes to your vibe bars, right? So you can be able to actually move the camera. If I need to move it a little bit forward, get it in position, move it to the left or right. Is going to help you out there. So that is um, a little tip to help you out for that positioning. Now, also what I would advise, and it's kind of going to tip two, is that once you get everything situated um, with your camera and your Vive Mars, and you actually did the, the correct setup, you wouldn't want to, as far as the actor goes, move it up and down because you're gonna have something connected as far as your ground setup, which this is gonna go into my second tip that usually I get a, uh, questions about as well. I'm gonna pick my phone back up so we can start filming out here. So when it comes to your Vive Mars, you're going to have your trackers and I'm not gonna go through this whole process. There's many videos out there of doing it. You can see I got a tracker down over there and there's definitely a lot of cables on, a, on the floor. But when it comes to before you actually connect your live link up to your, like if I go through here and I see live link, before you go to add source, when you open up your project and go to message board, you want to already make sure that you go through your recentering of your Vive 
you want to basically click that. I'm not going to do all of this stuff. I already pretty much did it. It's videos to show how to do that. You hit your recenter, and then you want to go through your ground setup. When you go through your ground setup, what it's going to do is it's going to basically have you move one of your trackers, which mine is down here. And you'll basically go into the space of your studio or your room, and it's going to collect the data for your ground. Where's the floor at in your environment? So it's going to connect that up, and you're going to basically have to place it in one position, move it forward, and you'll go through the entire process there. Once that's all successful, then what you're going to do is you're going to go in your Unreal Engine project, add source, message bus, Vive link. And the reasons what this is going to do for you is it's going to actually put you in a position where your camera and uh, the floor is should be accurate to where the location is. So if we say height wise, that's why I mentioned about the actor um, basically moving. You shouldn't have to move this thing up or down because then it's going to throw things off a little bit. All right, but what it also does is this goes into that tip where some of the questions was reading. Every time I open Unreal Engine and I connect my rovers up, my camera is not in a position where I left it. It's always in a different position. And the reasons why is because every time you start up Unreal Engine or you turn off Vive Mars, you need to go through the ground setup. You need to do that portion again so it can recognize the, basically your position. And then once you go through Unreal Engine, you go to your live link and you connect it with the ad source, your um, camera should be in the same position the way you set it up. So you have that. Now I wanted to get into my third tip is um, I hear people mention, hey, I got my Vive Mars connected. Everything is good. I'm probably using the Ultimate. I'm probably using my Black Magic or whatever camera you're using, and I'm going to be recording something on a green screen. And what I want to do is I want to record my movements. So I know that my setup here, let me turn some of this off so we can get the chatter off. I'm moving my jib up and down right now. So I want to actually record and um, have that where I can render it out through Unreal Engine and then basically connect it up with my um, my footage that I'm going to key out. Because if you're using the Ultimate, you might say, hey, I want to record just straight through. So if you're using um, like an Ultimate and you can already see how things are supposed to look there, you might want to say, hey, let me go through that way and do it that way. I want to record my screen and the person on the green screen together, and I just already have it composited in. But same time too, if the ultimate doesn't give you the key that you like, um, which it comes out pretty good, but let's say it's still some type of things in there and you want to do this stuff in post. So if you did want to do that and you want to record both, what you can do is use the take recorder, all right? So if you don't have the take recorder out, that tab, you want to go to Windows, Cinematics, and Take Recorder. I'm using um, Unreal Engine 5.4 right here, but it's pretty much the same setup as 5.1, 2, 3, I think 5.0 as well. If you're using 4, the layout is probably a little different, but same kind of gist. So we have this take recorder set up. Now what I'm going to do is... Now, it's multiple ways of recording and capturing and doing your things. I'm just showing y'all one way, just for this tip. If you grab the camera that you know that you have your virtual, you know what I mean, your vibes connected to, you can just grab that and drag it and put it in here. So I have that there. Now, we can see we got scene one, take six. It's take six because I've been doing this a little bit, right? Um, what you're going to do is you're going to get ready to hit the record button and... Let's make sure we are already in our camera perspective. We can see this, right? So I want to be able to use the jib and kind of go up and down. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit um, record. Now, I know that some people are also asking, how can I make sure I have them synced up correctly? There's multiple ways of doing that. I'm just going to be talking about, um, I'm not really going over that as a detail thing, but you can see when you hit record, you're going to have a countdown. You can have things staged and set up the same way so you know when it starts to hit record on your um live action camera and make sure that you get things synced up that way as well um but i'm gonna hit record so we got our time three two one we are recording now and i'm gonna just going to go down with the jib i'm bringing the jib up 
I'm taking it back down. I'm going to pan left and I'm panning right and I'm going back. All right, so we're just going to stop it from there. I'm going to hit stop. Now we're going to go to browse to so we can browse to it's going to be in a basically a cinematics file that they create. So when we see this, we've recorded something um, that we can be able to export out or render out. So what we can do from there is I'm going to double click on it. Now, and if we see in here and I move on it, I don't see any movement, right? We're like, where the hell is my shot? So in here, we got our cine camera actor. That's the camera that I'm using. If I double click on that, it opens up this. It gives us all kinds of info. Now, if I go, I still ain't gonna see no movement. I'm like, wait a minute, hold up. I thought you said double click on it. It's supposed to work, right? Exactly, but we're gonna click on here. If I click this camera, now we're in our position. So if I move forward, those are our pan up and down, left and right. I can hit play. You can see how it looks. That's basically what I captured. All right. Another cool thing, if you wanted to, since you have all of this info, you can see the keyframes that your Vive can, um, camera, your virtual camera can, um, basically made. You can actually go in here if you wanted to delete things and adjust them. But for the most part, we knew we wanted to get this we can hit our normal render out and make things happen that way as well. But these are some of the things that I just wanted to kind of talk to you about. Just kind of show you those because they're pretty good. They work and you can make some things happen with them. So get out there, keep creating, and I'll talk to you later.